Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is Saturday the 2nd, and today was a lovely day outside. Temperature was a little warm, um, started off with overcast, sun came out, and then it rained like heck on us over in Orlando again. Seems like four of the last five times I've been in Orlando, it's rained on me. I don't know what the heck's up with that, but it's Florida, it rains almost every day, so not that big a deal. But got this morning, uh, later than I had planned on, I just kind of slept in, which was fine. Um, got up, got around a little bit. Um, Karen and I took off to go do some um, riding and running. She rode the bike while I ran uh, through the bike in the back of the truck. Headed down to one of the trails we run. It's like a rails of trails through town there. Um, went over and hit it. Ended up knocking out um, my little over eight miles on my long run to keep my, um, trying to get my 52 long runs in this year. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. I'm coming up very short uh, statistically of the one per week. So, I gotta figure something out there. But went ahead, I was really sore. Like the paddle boarding thing yesterday really did kind of kick my ass a little bit and it is what it is. But um, just sore in spots I wasn't expecting any sore. So my run went well, I had a negative split, which means my last four, my last half of the run was faster than my first half of the run, which is always a cool thing. So I really enjoyed that part. Um, had a good time, Karen, like I said, rode the bike with me. And we left Bruce home, it's just that weird temperature range that had I left at like, had I left the house at 6.30 or seven o'clock, I would have been probably all right but I didn't. So it was kind of nice running without the dog and for about him if he was going to keep up and this and that. He's usually pretty good for the first four or five and he starts falling off. So a few times I've actually taken him out on my longer runs. I'll take him with me from the house, run from here, go run three or four miles, then come back, drop him in the house, then go finish up. So it works out pretty well too. But got done from there, got back, um, ended up talking, getting a hold of a guy who has some vending machines that I'm wanting to go look at to uh, buy. I talked to him last night about going over today to see him and then hit him up and said, hey, you know, Here's where we're at. We talked. He goes, yeah, let me know when you're heading out, when you're heading this way, and then I'll get you the address. Because instead of just, I don't know, it's that whole thing of if you're not going to show up, people don't really want to tell you where their machines are, you know, and stuff, that kind of thing and whatnot. So we got back home, got cleaned up. We had set on a roughly about 2.30 time. We knew it was going to medieval times. Dinner theater, um, I don't know, just, you know, restaurant slash um, horse show, basically, lack of a better term. Um, went ahead, and we had kind of knew about where we needed to be. We knew that on the Dr. Phillips, you know, area of town. So we headed over there, uh, hit the guy up on text. I'm like, hey, what the hell? I didn't hear from him, heading that direction. And I'm also knowing I'm gonna be there like way too early if I don't get to go there. If the guy doesn't reach back out, we're gonna be there like an hour and a half, two hours really by the time you get half an hour, you know, out of our way there extra. And then the half an hour there, and then half an hour back to medieval times. That's an hour and a half of dead time. So I hit him back up, I'm like, hey dude, I'm on my way. Like what the hell? And he's like, oh, you, you know, I didn't know you was gonna be this early. And I said, yeah, I'm coming from the coast. So we talked a little bit. He called, we chatted a little while, uh, gave me the address, went there. Machines are nice. I'm going to probably, if, if everything goes well, I'm going to do my best to try and buy them. I'll probably talk to him and just tell him, you know, tomorrow I want them. But he has two more machines at another location I want to see Tuesday. So I'm hoping that I'll save myself a trip over tomorrow and just, I can give him my word and he'll hold them for me until Tuesday. Then I can go look at the second um, unit and see if I can't buy all four places at once. So we'll see if that works out or not. We'll see what happens. So got done there. It was really nice. The machines are clean. They're well taken care of. This, the, even like the stickers on the side that has like his name for like in case it's jammed up to call him. They're just a piece of paper he printed out, taped up, and they're not all tore up and stuff. So people are not damaging the machines. They're not tearing up stuff there, which is a good feeling about the location. So, and it's a professional doctor's office type building that's really kind of cool. So the other one's in like a beauty school or some junk. So I got to look into it also. But from there, we headed back over to Medieval Times. We got there a little early when we needed to. We walked around their old um, 11th century um, type, you know, the, like blacksmith shop and the cloth shop and all that kind of stuff. It's kind of cool. Had a good time. Flying got in, um, got our seats reserved and whatnot. Then from there, we walked around, just kind of wandered around this little like, interior area, like the bars. Like there's three bars and a wine bar, like all in this one giant like hallway area. And it was kind of interesting. They're selling the hell out of these, mix, like their damn alcoholic drinks for like 20 bucks for a, like a souvenir glass and an alcoholic drink in it. It's ridiculous. But you get half price on the refills. I'm like, it's still do you have much money, but it is what it is. So. We kind of laughed and joked about that. Went around, watched some people get knighted, all kinds of little things. For like 20 bucks, you can have your kid's birthday or have them knighted and have them call their name, which is kind of cool. So had fun there. Got the show. The show was awesome. The food was not that great, but it was that was what it was. So I ended up watching the show. They had the nights. You get There's like six different nights, and you get set in a section, so that becomes your night. You don't get to pick where you want to set, though, unfortunately. So went ahead. Our night did not win, but our half the nights. There was like three nights against three nights, and then all had their own. And we had a good time. We had fun. We had a lot of good time. Left. It was raining and we left. Uh, rained off and on. We ended up with a low tire in the car, 
which stopped to put air in the tire, dollar uh, fifty to freaking put air in the tire, and the damn nozzle was all jammed up, beat up from this little redneck ass. Like it's a racetrack, but it's in this shitty part of town. It's all beat to hell, and literally more air came out of the tire than went in. I was so pissed off. So it's about a dollar fifty to let air out of my tire. It was a pain in the ass. But I went and bought a gauge, uh, checked it, and it's only a couple pounds low. It was just it was at that verge of setting off the sensor. So. Got home though, drove, it was no big deal. Had a big wreck, a semi jackknifed up on the interstate. Some idiot tried to run us over, it was just a bunch of pain in the butt, and it was raining. And if I was in my vehicle, I would have let the dude hit me. It was not, it was Karen's car, so had to basically give way to the idiot. So when we got home though, it's all cool. Bruce was here, he's all happy to see us and running around, prancing around like the horses and stuff. We was kind of making fun of that, but had a good time, had a lot of fun. And now we're going to have some dessert, I think, I'm hoping for something for ice cream because I don't know what she's going to get me, but she's not made me more cookies. But it makes cookies. It says she makes good cookies. I only had good cookies from her once, so I think it's kind of time to make her make good cookies again because I've had other cookies that she made that wasn't that good, but we'll see what happens. So anyway, that's all i got for now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.